Hi there. Welcome to the practice questions on being able to understand negative numbers on a number line. What I'd like you to do now is to pause the video, have a go at these five questions, and when you're happy with your answers, then restart the video and check your answers with my model answers. So pause the video now and have a go at questions one to five. Hi, welcome back. Let's go through these five questions now together. Okay, we've got our number line here, and we're going to work out these sums using this number line. So the first one, negative 6, add 8. Go to your number line and start on the value negative 6. And all you need to do now is add 8 to it. Whenever you add in, we go up the number line. So from the negative 6, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it takes us here to positive 2. There's our first answer. Question 2. This time we're starting on negative 4. And we're taking away 3 this time. When you're taking away, we go down the number line. So go to negative 4 and take away 3. 1, 2, 3. Obviously the number line doesn't go down to what's required. But we can see that that would take us to negative 2. 7. And you've got to get used to doing these without the number line. Question 3. This time we've got 4 take away negative 3. Whenever we have two negatives next to each other, that's basically the same as saying it's a positive. Two negatives next to each other make a positive. So 4 add 3, well 4 add 3, you're going up the number line by 3, that's going to take you this time to positive 7. Question 4. This time we're starting on 8 and we've got a negative and a positive next to each other. Whenever you've got a negative or a positive next to each other, in either order, that's the same as it being a negative. And negative means going down the number line. So in effect, we're starting on positive 8. Now we haven't got 8 on our number line, but we can assume what's going to happen here as we're going up. And um, we need to take 10 away from it. So basically, if you went up to here, that would be 8. Take away 10, that would take you down to 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it takes you all the way down to negative 2. And the last one here, we've got 6 Add a take away again, so like we said before, this add and take away really are the same as a negative. So that is 6 take away 2. 6 take away 2 takes us down to positive 4.